Good morning, everyone. How was your day? Are you ready to learn something new? Great! My name is Teacher Jane, and join me to have fun and explore new knowledge of today. Let's begin our lesson with a drill. The instruction is identify whether the given picture is a mass noun or a cat noun. Again, identify whether the given picture is a mass noun or a cat noun. Are you ready? Great! Let's start with picture number one. Picture number two. Picture number three. Picture number four. Picture number five. Picture number six. Picture number seven. Picture number eight. Picture number nine. And lastly, picture number ten. Now let's see if you correctly identified the given pictures. Good job! You correctly identified all the pictures. Based on our drill a while ago, were you able to differentiate mass noun and count noun? Great! That will present to you our topic for this day, indefinite articles with mass noun and count nouns. Let us know first the objectives. At the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to identify count and mass nouns. Choose appropriate and definite articles and use indefinite articles with mass and count nouns in a sentence. Last meeting, we talked about noun phrase, right? Who can still remember what is a noun phrase? Correct! A noun phrase is a group of words that can function a subject, object, or prepositional object in a sentence. we form a noun phrase. This is how we can form a noun phrase. We have article plus noun. Can you give me an example of an article plus noun? Great! A pen. A paper. An orange. Second is determiner plus adjective plus noun. Can you give me an example? A wonderful night. The green apple. Third is the possessive pronoun plus adjective plus noun. Her lovely shoes. My pink notebook. And for the last one, demonstrative pronoun plus noun. Dot box. These mangoes. Those slippers. 
Now, let's have an activity. I have here an excerpt from the story entitled The Teaching Begins by Tagore. All you need to do is to find noun phrases and to give an excerpt. Identify each noun phrase whether it is a count noun or a mass noun. We had an old cashier, Kailash by name, who was like one of the family. He was a great wit and would be constantly cracking jokes with everybody, old and young. Recently married sons-in-law, newcomers into the family circle, being his special beaut. There was room for the suspicion that his humor had not deserted him even after death. Once my elders were engaged in an attempt to start a postal service with the other world by means of a planchette. At one of the sittings, the pencil scrolled out the name of Kailash. We had an old cashier, Kailash by name, who was like one of the family. He was a great wit and would be constantly cracking jokes with everybody old and young, recently married sons-in-law, newcomers into the family circle, being his special beaut. There was room for the suspicion that his humor had not deserted him even after death. Once my elders were engaged in an attempt to start a postal service with the other world by means of a planchette. At one of the sittings, the pencil scrolled out the name of Kailash. We had an old cashier, Kailash by name, who was like one of the family. He was a great wit and would be constantly cracking jokes with everybody, old and young, recently married sons-in-law, newcomers into the family circle, being his special beaut. There was room for the suspicion that his humor had not deserted him even after death. Once my elders were engaged in an attempt to start a postal service with the other world by means of a planchette. At one of the sittings, the pencil scrolled out the name of Kailash. <laughs>
Time's up. Let us have some of your answers. An old cashier. Countdown. The family. Countdown. A great wit. Mass noun. His humor. Mass noun. An attempt. Mass noun. My elders. Count noun. A planchette. Count noun. Great job! All of you were able to look and identify the noun phrases you found in the excerpt. Now, let's comprehend. What is the difference between mass noun and count noun? is a name of anyone or anything that can be counted. For example, cup, ball, leaf. Mass nouns refer to things which cannot be counted. For example, oil, snow, rain, and abstract ideas. Now, both count nouns and mass nouns can be described using indefinite articles. What are indefinite articles? Indefinite articles are modifiers of noun that refer to general things and not specific ones. The articles are a and a. Look at how they use in the examples. A laptop. A school bus, a history books, an embellishment, an exotic ring, an eloquated fruit. When to use indefinite articles? The rule is use an before a word beginning with a vowel sound, not letter. It doesn't matter how the word is spelled, it just matters how it is pronounced. Use a before a word with consonant sound as well as ye and wa sound, which means it is not unusual to find a before a word starting with a vowel or an before a word starting with a consonant. Were you able to get the idea of indefinite articles with mass and count nouns? Good job! Now, let's measure your understanding by doing this activity. All you need to do is to choose the appropriate and definite article. First sentence. I can think of a, an, Hundred reasons not to come.
it too. I think a an animal is in the garage. Number three, that man is a an scoundrel.
Number four, we are looking for a, an apartment. Number five, Kyle is a an energetic boy.
Now, for your evaluation, using indefinite particles with mass and count nouns, construct a meaningful sentences based on the given picture. Good job, everyone. You did very well. I hope that you have learned today. Goodbye and have a great day ahead.